Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to make this balloon bunny or this balloon rabbit out of one of these balloons. So before I start, I want to identify the different um, parts of the rabbit so that when I refer to them, you know what I'm talking about. So these are the bunny ears, this is his nose, um, this is the neck, and then over here I'm going to refer to this part as the bunny's back. And these two bubbles in the front, I'm going to refer to them as the leg. And then over here, I'm going to refer to this part in the bottom as the body. And then this part, obviously, as the bunny's tail. So the completed bunny looks like this. And um, let's get started. So here I have a long balloon already pumped up and I left some space in the very end so that there's some more room to work with. So I'm going to start off by pinching around 5 to 6 inches from the part that I tied. So I would say around here. You give it one or two or three twists and then after that you're going to fold the balloon in half. See that? So what this part creates is the bunny's um, ear and then this part over here at the very bottom so if you leave a little room in the bottom is where the bunny's nose is going to be and so wherever the nose you want to be you want to pinch at that area and twist both these balloons at the same time so I'm going to go like this just to demonstrate so one, two, three and then so now I have the bunny's ear and also the bunny's nose right here and now I want to make the bunny's neck. So I like to make the neck slightly bigger than the nose. And so I would pinch around this area over here and give it three twists. One, two, three. And now you have the bunny's um, neck over here. The next thing you're going to create are the bunny feet. So I like to make the feet around the same size as the ear. Always make it a little bigger than you really think you need to make it because you have to um, stick it into the body later on. So um, I would say it's around here. So I would pinch it. One, two, three. Like that. And then fold the balloon in half like so. And then at the point where Sorry, it's hard to hold. So at the point where these two intersect, so from here to here, you would give it around two or three twists. So one, two, and three. And so now from the front, it should look like this. And from the side, it should look like that. And so these are the bunny feet. And next what you want to do is you almost, um, you want to make the bunny's back. So the bunny's back should be around um, a little longer than um, the bunny's feet. So you want to be able to fold it downwards like this later on. So, um, so if you fold it downwards like this, you can kind of gauge how long you want it. So I like to have it a little bit below the bunny's feet right here. So at that point, I will give it a little pinch, so one, two, three so that it looks like this. So at this point, you should have something that looks like this. And with whatever's left over, you almost want to fold the entire thing in half. So I'm gonna find the halfway point, which is around here, and then fold it in half and give it a little twist. One, two, three. And then you have something that looks like this. Next, what you want to do is you want to fold the entire bunny in half, like this, right? And you notice that there should be a little bit of air protruding past this meeting point over here. Now, for the next twist, you don't want to fold it in half. You don't want to fold the top balloon all the way down. You want to give it a little bit of um, leeway so that you can stick the legs through this hole over there. So just give it a little arch, arch it a little bit so that there's a slight opening like this before you twist this part in. So like that, oops, <laughs> one, two, three. 
And now you have exactly, um, actually this sort of looks like a puppy. Um, and what you have to do is now you get to fold the body downwards like this. And once you do that, the front should look like this. And then all you have to do is go from, you have to stick these two front feet into the slot that we made in the bottom. So, go like that. From the bottom, it should look like this. You just stick it through. Once it's through, you have a completed bunny rabbit. So from the side, it should look like this. And from the front, it should look like this. Um, yeah, so here's the other one I made earlier. They're slightly different sizes, but that's okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And also check out my other free tutorials as well.